Hello and happy Monday. Welcome to the new moon in Gemini meditation and report. I am your host, Kimberly Williams. Thank you so much for joining in on this meditation. Thank you for being a supporter of the show. And thank you so much for inviting your friends and family. Make sure that you check out the links in the detail or description box found below. I will start with the report. This is again the new moon in Gemini. It starts May 30th at 8 30 a.m. And here's your report courtesy of Astro Matrix. It's the first lunation after an intense and transformative eclipse season happening in the intellectual sign of Gemini on May 30th. This new moon gifts us with vision for the future. But first, we have to work our way through any limited mental beliefs that might be holding us back from reaching our fullest potential. The reason for this is that the ruler of this new moon, Mercury, is currently still retrograde and conjunct the demon star Algol. We may be caught in a repetitive whirlwind of obsessive thinking, which is important to release so that we can tap into the fresh beginnings that new moons always offer. What old, outworn beliefs are we still carrying around? How may we be downplaying our strengths or not voicing our truth for fear of being shut down, ridiculed, or judged? The truth is, during this new moon, that the greatest judge of all lies in our own heads. What we believe becomes our reality. Perhaps setting intentions for stronger, more disciplined, and focused mental health routines may be just the key to break through to the other side. On the other side of fear and negativity lies love, hope, and optimism. Saturn, the great karmic tough love teacher, cast a limiting square to Mercury, which could have us all feeling as if there's an authoritative hand wrapped around our throat. However, Saturn always has a gift to share, and square aspects are simply an invite from the universe to evolve. Tension is a driver for change. On this new moon, the shift needs to come from within before we can start manifesting changes outwardly. Making the preparations for a long-term project may be the key to using this new moon energy constructively. Once we've laid our foundations, we can push things forward as soon as Mercury goes direct. And although our goal is a difficult star prone to reflect in times of destruction, confusion, and losing our heads, we can harness this star's force to destroy anything that no longer has a place in our world. This will help us move forward with the light, eager, curious, and adaptable qualities that Gemini offers. One positive aspect to this new moon is a gentle sextile to Neptune. This is a cosmic opportunity to find a creative way of solving our problems, be they material or mental. Going with the flow and trusting in the universal pattern is important. This is also an intuitive and imaginative alignment. Using these two strengths, strengths that we all have, we have the ability to transform what could be a challenging time into a spiritual lesson. Gemini energy is eager for change, eager to move forward, eager to keep learning. Let this eagerness be a guiding light in the difficult and darker moments. I want you to take time during this meditation to focus on those areas in your life that 
you may be downplaying your strengths. Those areas that you're not utilizing your fullest potential because you're afraid of being shut down, ridiculed, or judged. I want you to imagine yourself overcoming that fear. I want you to imagine yourself being exactly who you want to be. Use your imagination during this meditation to help you bring those dreams into reality. This week's theme is going to be all about transformation because we've been going through a lot of transformation lately with the alignments that we've been facing in the cosmos, specifically this last lunar eclipse in Scorpio and with this new moon in Gemini. And we have another eclipse in Scorpio. I think that's a solar eclipse coming up in October. So these eclipse screams transformation. So this week we're going to be talking about transformation. Let's prepare for meditation. If you are driving, this is not the time to meditate. Please download this and save it for later. However, if you are not driving, make sure that you find your sacred space, the one that is safe, distraction free, and comfortable for you, a place in which you can relax and focus on your breathing. Enjoy your meditation.